Let's get the time for another video. Now, this particular one. Um, I know it's useful for some people, especially those guys that tie their own um, assistants. Okay? Uh, there are places where you can't get this, I guess, or it's hard, you know. This is kind of easy. It's not really something like super proper, I suppose, but it freaking works. Alrighty? Um, I was debating on whether I should share this or not, but then I freaking ran out of accelerant. And then I just said, like, you know, whatever. I'll just make some because, you know, uh, I used to. <laughs> and it just occurred to me that, hey, this could be something useful for the guys to use. Alrighty? Now, <clears throat> we're looking at super glue, okay? Which is um, cyanolate or uh, what, what, uh, cyanoacrylate. Okay, so you have to understand what this is first, alrighty, and, and the properties that actually kind of make it work. So, number one, um, it, it's a compound, okay? It's a compound that when A, it senses moisture in the air, <clears throat> it dries it okay so it has to be encased in some sort of acidic compound for it to stay liquid and that's kind of like the lining on the the, the plastic bottles or there's a there's actually something in the uh, the tubes that's uh, uh, prohibiting the dispersal of this acid so this acid is there now have you ever thought of why when you put it sometimes it hurts your eyes it's similar to um, how your eyes kind of get hurt when um, you're slicing onions so it's a similar feeling it's because um, both chemicals that affect your eyes then is acidic okay so it's kind of similar so um, A, you need something that's basic, okay, base, to be able to counteract the acid, that's A, and B, you need it to be wet, alrighty, that's why when you're trying to put together something that's, uh, that's not porous or that doesn't have like moisture, something like really, really dry, the adhesion's not really good, um, Take, for example, some, some plastics. But if you scratch the plastic up and then you actually kind of wet it a little bit before you put the glue and put the surface together, then it bonds, okay? But if you're just putting it on, on really um, slippery plastic, it doesn't bond. So again, so things for you to understand. Now, what's the easiest base that you can get? Uh, base material. Alright, so that'd be sodium bicarbonate. Baking soda. Okay, so I always have baking soda around me just for a lot of purposes. Okay, so I'm not going to measure this because um, you don't need to. Alright, so kind of put about that much for, you know, a little bit. Now, um, to make things easy, okay. <clears throat> Because we're going to be starting out with a, uh, a compound that's pretty base, basic, okay? So, you have this, I'm pretty sure, if you have a kitchen or a working kitchen, you have this. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm smashing all of the, uh, smashing all of the, smashing all of the uh, all of the the ones in clumps because I want this to be as smooth as possible okay as far as tools go this is a chopstick that I sharpened one end utility all right I have a uh, mixer okay so kind of useful 
Now, the base that we're using is actually alcohol. This is isopropyl, okay? So, I have, I have these things on my desk a, a lot. And uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, I hope you have it in your house, okay? But this thing's already, like, basic. Okay, so I'm going to put, because uh, I'm going to chuck this, so put that on there, all right? So what I'm going to do is first mix this, all righty, because of my shallow container. So I'm just going to put it there and then mix it. This is just a, an espresso. Uh, what is this? It's like a mixer. I got this in a dollar store, so all, all I do is just mix it, okay? And... You could you could use water, but see the thing is, alcohol. Okay, this is I think, uh, seventy percent solution, and what this is is it's rubbing alcohol. If you get something that's kind of higher, like ninety nine percent, even better, because what you want is for this to actually dry up really fast. Okay, so this will dry up relatively fast, but not as fast as ninety nine percent. So if you have access to ninety nine percent, go ahead. If not, it's fine. You could use water, but Alcohol just kind of dries up faster. So uh, what I'm trying to do here is make a solution where the, the uh, baking soda is dissolved. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to do this for a while. And I'm just going to keep on stirring. Okay, now, uh, if it's unsoluble already, okay, because there's, there's times when, you know, it's, uh, it's already kind of, uh, what do you call this, too mixed up already, and it's not going to dissolve anymore, so what I'll do is just add more alcohol. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll do this for about, I don't know, 200 ml or something, and then you'll put like half a teaspoon. Okay, so it's not, it's not like there's a formula, because to start with, alcohol is already basic, but what you want is just a higher, uh, higher uh, base, okay, so make it even more basic. So, I'm just mixing this, uh, so you can see there, now I'm using 70% because I don't want the alcohol to evaporate too much, because that's going to be uh, such a waste. So here, what I want to do is just mix it. Now. The next step to this, and you'll see, here it's kind of cloudy, all right, is to transfer this to a spray bottle, which I have here, kind of big. After this, okay, once you have, and look, there's still a lot on the bottom, okay? So what I do, I get a, uh, a funnel, okay? A funnel, and then I'll put, like, Right now, I put three tissues, okay? So, the, this tissue will actually kind of absorb or filter out most of the dust from this. And uh, mind you, it's a slow process, but it's fine. Just leave it there. Don't worry about it, okay? So... While that's happening, I'm going to take another bit of my alcohol. Put more and basically just mix more. So I'm going to I'm going to use up like most of the There it is. 
So use up most of the alcohol that I have here. Again, I have about 200 ml. That's more than I could use. So I'm going to mix this up and then pour it over this one again. This is like ghetto chemistry. But it freaking works. It freaking works. I'm going to show you guys in a bit. Too. Now, uh, the reason why I'm, I'm straining it, obviously, is that I don't want to clog the tip and uh, actually kind of get my, uh, my uh, what do you call this, my, uh, I don't want to get my assist hooks looking dirty and stuff. But if you don't mind that sort of thing, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, you know, it doesn't matter if uh, you're not too concerned about cleanliness of your, uh, what, how your assist hooks look like, it doesn't matter. But you know, we try to, we well, not try, but for me, I'd rather not half acid. So, it's better if I actually did this. Okay, so I'm just mixing this. It's a slow process, especially with the filter. You can use a coffee filter if you want, but, you know, um, just like making crack. It's kind of not exact. Unless you have a real lab. Okay. So again, that's all mixed up. The uh, the tissue actually absorbs a lot. So, but what you could do is just squeeze it squeeze it out because once you squeeze it out what happens is that all the all the uh, what's this the uh, the dust from the uh, the dust from that smells good all the dust from the sodium bicarbonate actually gets trapped so just squeeze it to get all of the alcohol out and then you'll see that you have a uh, milky liquid there. So this one, okay, still can be uh, mixed. You just have to make sure that it's really uh, mixed in. It takes time. So just, uh, just to uh, show you how clinical I am, this is actually a, it looks like a beaker, but it's actually the container of uh, cotton buds. So that's how ghetto we are here with our laboratory equipment. So the investment of this is really just time. Um, some alcohol that you can't drink, you know, rubbing alcohol and uh, sodium bicarbonate. And uh, aside from the rubbing alcohol, you know, you're not really spending much. Sodium bicarbonate is cheap. Uh, I didn't even use up a, uh, a whole bottle of uh, rubbing alcohol for this. You know, it's just leftovers I had from two bottles. Uh, but that's that. I'm actually thinking of adding a bit more. But there we go. I think I 
think I have successfully blended. The baking soda, because there's nothing left on the bottom. Alrighty, so this will actually last me a really long time. Yeah, there's hardly anything there, as you can see. You know, I'm probably gonna put like a little bit more just so I don't waste, but that's how much we have. <clears throat> okay, there's a tad more, uh, just a little bit left. So I don't want the baking soda to uh, feel left behind, so I just put in more. Okay, now put that there. Alrighty, so we have like a more than, I think this is one third of a, this whole big bottle. And we're gonna save this just so we could use it again. Okay, so what we will do is test the accelerant. This is not going to be as good as commercial ones, of course because commercial ones will actually um, evaporate really fast okay so this one it takes a while and it won't be it won't be clear it's gonna get white but it will make it dry up faster than just leaving it so for me <clears throat> if I'm not being picky, if I don't have, like take for example now, I ran out and let's say I'm, I'm in a hurry, I just want it to dry up. Okay, or projects, like take for example when I'm, I'm doing fishing lures and I'm using this to waterproof, um, uh, super glue to waterproof it, this is, this is what I use because it's, well I could use more of it and it's not going to, it's not going to cost me a lot. Okay, so. I use super glue to coat the whole thing. Alright, now, so we have that. <clears throat> this is watery. So what I do is I have tissue, okay, to uh, lessen the drip. So I'm going to spray this way, okay, going out like that because this so it's gonna be diagonal instead of straight up because I'll hit the lens which I don't want okay so just like that and then hit him from this side as well okay now leave it like that for a few moments and what happens is that it will just kind of don't touch it okay just leave it and that's dry right there so you could shake it okay so it's still going to be see it's already whitening up you can see there okay so that's dry okay that's dry to the touch now so it's not going to be um, as clean as commercial ones but it does accelerate it and uh, it works alrighty so that's it right there as you can see
cool? I hope this video helps you. And, uh, you know, just some tips to save money or uh, tips to actually uh, help you if uh, you can't buy this. And by the way, this smells way better than the commercial ones. Commercial ones smell like, uh, um, what do you call this? It, they smell kind of like... Uh, um, insecticide so this one doesn't smell like insecticide and it doesn't stink up the house okay so there you go alrighty if uh, this video helped you give it a thumbs up if you have questions drop them in the comment section if you have friends you want to learn with you share this video of course share the channel and if you want to support me go ahead and click that join button or subscribe button okay Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Class dismissed.